What is up guys, Johnny here, I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the damage build that I used yesterday to get 840 in the Silver Arena. We will look at the skill tree and the gear, all you need to know to get this insane damage. Silver Arena playstyle is all about spawn killing the enemies, getting some shots in the back. As soon as they spawn, you want to clear the enemies fast so they don't spread and they don't have a chance to kill you. If you're new to Silver Arena or if you don't know the ins and outs and all the little tricks, make sure you watch my arena guide in the description. But let's go over the build. Okay, let's start with the skill tree. This build right here has got 12 in agility, then 3 in combat, 3 in survival. The thing with this build is you can tweak a little bit if you want. If you don't need the survivability, you can put more points in combat. If you want more survivability, you can remove the combat points and put more in the survival. However, it is important that you go with the 12 points in agility for that reason. The sneak attack skill is the most important thing in the whole build. It's gonna give you 20% extra damage when you shoot enemies in the back. It is not super clear when you read the description. It says increase damage to enemies who haven't spotted you yet. Get stealthy to maximize the pain. So it just says that if they didn't spot you, you will get extra damage. But the fact is, as long as you shoot them in the back, you get the damage. Even if they spotted you and then they turn around to aggro one of your teammates, if you shoot enemies in the back, it doesn't matter if they saw you or they didn't see you, you will get the damage. But this is an extra 20% damage. And on top of that, giving uh, 12 points in agility will give you 12% crit damage. It's pretty big. I know you can get an, uh, an extra 15% uh, crit on the combat tree, but if you go and put all the points in the combat tree, you will not have the AM bomb and you will not have the supercharger. These are the most important skills in the whole game, I think, uh, if you're farming dungeons and arena. Supercharger, double your damage for 10 seconds. It will really help you dealing with the big enemies and it will really speed up your clear times. And the AM bomb will be clearing the trash mobs also will really help in the arena. Then you still got access to all the mobility skills, the sprint, the speed reload, and the reload while sprinting. Uh, it's all about speed, so if you want fast clears, uh, you want the agility skills, of course. All the passives are super good. Then the survival skills, uh, it's pretty good to have the 15% extra health. It's also pretty good to have the extra auto heal stats. I mean, it's not absolutely necessary some players don't even care about that and they will prefer to put these points somewhere else and if you got three points in combat you'll have the uh, marksman skill it's gonna give you 15 percent accuracy and the extra ammo cap which is always nice but if you want to put extra points there uh, you might have the stunner the sparta kick it's not it's not something that's gonna help that much in the arena but some guys like the sparta kick a lot you also get some extra iron sight damage yesterday in my run i forgot to put the points in there so i didn't have the extra eight percent now let's go over the gear since it's a damage build the whole point is trying to get extra damage so i removed my loot shoulders and i played the crit shoulders it's the basilisk it's gonna give you 20 percent crit damage if you have these shoulders, they're very good. I also got my crit boots and my crit pants. I have crit gloves, but these here give me 10% extra damage to elites and 6% damage with assault rifles. So if I'm using an assault rifle, I might get this extra 6% damage whenever I use that. You can use your best assault rifle or whatever you like. It doesn't really matter, but um, I use the Nico Stopper. It's got extra damage to elites, iron sight damage, it's got crit damage. It's a pretty nice rifle it's my favorite rifle in the game my secondary weapon is a machine gun the AT-2 I did a video about that one it's my favorite machine gun I don't have the legendary machine gun yet so I'm using that one it's got very nice damage 244.2 plus 8% damage to Elise and I got 14% crit damage so I got very nice perk on this one it's a 248 power you can use pretty much whatever you like. Some guys like to use snipers. Some guys like the emoji or the naga too. They got 100 bullets in the clip. Super fast fire rate also. So it's really personal. Whatever you like, just go with that. If you can deal the damage, it's good. Now the other thing we did to get the extra damage is before we go for a silver arena run, the whole squad would go into the casino trying to get random buffs. So what you do is you wait a couple seconds as soon as you see your first buff that's gonna pop, you look for 20% crit, 
or 30% crit only. If it's anything else, you're gonna drink. So as you can see right here, I just got a 10% crit damage. I'm gonna get rid of that ASAP. So drink a plum brandy and a detox, get rid of the tipsy thing, and it's gonna go back to zero buffs. So we're gonna wait, wait for another buff, uh until we get the 20 or the 30 percent crit so that right here is gonna be 20 or 30 because you see the two uh arrows of lightning that is 20 percent crit damage so i'm gonna keep that one and i'm gonna wait for the next one if it's a 10 percent or if it's anything other than crit damage i'm gonna drink one more uh it's called the plum brandy it's gonna get rid of one buff so as you can see i just got a uh, accuracy boost it's a uh, five percent accuracy so i would drink a plum brandy and a detox and then go back and wait because it made room for another buff you're gonna get two buff maximum so i still got my uh my 20 percent is gonna last oops for 30 minutes now i got another uh, accuracy boost i'm gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna wait for another one to pop up so it could take a while if the whole squad is gonna be there waiting to have the total 50% crit it could take five to ten minutes sometimes before you can go in the arena as you can see here I got a 10% so I would get rid of that and wait for a better one you want 30 and 20 and that's it so once all three members got 50% crit it's time to go so that's how we managed to get such a crazy clear time yesterday Everyone was using a damage build, uh, your best gear if you got the crit gear and the 50% crit damage buffs for the whole squad. So now it's time to debate, is it better for farming legendary to do super fast clear times or to get a bit slower times but having the loot gear. If you haven't seen my loot percentage build, make sure you watch the video in the description. It's the best build in my opinion to farm legendaries because it increases your loot percentage so you have better chance to find legendaries. So here's the thing, yes you can clear the arena in 10 minutes, maybe 9 if you're super lucky and if you got a good squad, but if you're wearing the loot percentage build or the loot build, you're still gonna get like 12 13 minutes with a good squad maybe 15 minutes but the thing is if you're going to spend 5 to 10 minutes in the casino just to get the buff are you really uh increasing your time or your number of arenas per day that's the thing it is not worth it it's cool to do it once or twice just trying to get your best time try to beat your own record it's really fun to kill the enemies super fast getting some super high crit numbers it's super cool but if you're farming legendaries your objective should be get it done and do as many arenas in a day as you can if you got two hours a day if you got one hour a day like you try to do four arenas per hour if you can but if you're spending 30 minutes in that hour just to try to get some good buffs it's not really gonna help so let's say you skip that part you don't go in the casino you don't get the random buffs you just go for the damage build you're gonna get maybe slower times maybe 10 11 minutes if you get a good squad of course so is it that much better than the loot build because it's not gonna cut your times in half but the thing with the loot build is you got your loot shoulders you got your five percent loot skill on the skill three so if you got slower times but you increase your loot percentage by 16 percent i'm still thinking and it is my opinion but i still think that if you're farming legendaries if your point is to drop legendaries you should still go with the loot build again link in the description if you haven't seen that video you have to see it it is in my opinion the best way to get legendaries fast you will get a bit of a slower time but it is not big enough to justify uh throwing away the loot percentage so that will be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed if this video was helpful make sure to hit the like subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications watch my other videos i'll be back soon take care all right moment of truth my am bomb's not even ready so that was very fast i think That was good.
No, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, I think we got this. I think we got this. It was very quick. Let's go, let's freaking go. Hey, 8.40, best time ever. Wow.